Hello! This is an amazing and interesting math question. Yes, because there is a twist to it. If you have been following me, you will note that subsequent questions and on this, that is questions that are similar to this, that their powers are always even. But today, the power is odd. So how do we achieve that? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to explain my steps, okay? Step by step. Because this is odd, it's going to be a bit difficult, more than the other ones, okay? But, for example, I've told you that when you see something like this, the first thing is to name whatever you have inside your bracket, X, Y, A, B, any variable of your choice, okay? So, you know I love X, I will say let X be equal to square root of 39 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 12, Okay, now you always simplify this. If x is equal to this, if x is equal to this, that means this is equal to x to the power of 7, right? Now we always try to get x to the power of 2. Yes, so that when we get x to the power of 2, we screen it again to get what? x to the power of 4. Now we should have screened it again to get x to the power of 8. But this time we have x to the power of 7. So how do we get that? That is the twist here. Okay. So just watch and see how we do that. So remember the first step is to get x to the power of 2. So let's go ahead and get that. Now we need to simplify this first before we start looking for x squared. Now 39 divided by 3 is 13. So it means that we can express 39 as 3 times 13. So we write x is equal to square root of 3 multiplied by 13 plus square root of 3 divided. This will also be square root of 3 multiplied by 4. Now remember that square root of AB is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. So it simply means that we can write this as square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 13 plus square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 4. Now you can see that they have square root of 3 in common. So let's factorize that. So if we bring out square root of 3, we open brackets when this, sorry, this is still x. So we bring out square root of 3. When this is divided by square root of 3, square root of 13 will remain. When square root of 3 is divided by itself, 1 will remain divided by square root of 3 multiplied by 2 because square root of 4 is 2. Okay, now we have square root of 3 will remove itself because when, it's, it, when it divides itself, we have 1. So we have x is equal to square root of 13 plus 1 divided by 2. Remember that our intention is to get x squared, okay? So let's cross multiply. Multiply through by 2. Multiply both sides by 2. So we have 2 times x is equal to square root of 13 plus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 2. So we have 2x is equal to, this we remove this right, root 13 plus 1. Now let's transfer plus 1 to this side. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to root 13. Now it's time to get our x squared by squaring both sides of the equation. So if we square both sides, we have 2x minus 1 squared is equal to root 13 squared. So remember that a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. 
and that square root of a squared is equal to a. So applying these two rules, we have that this becomes 2x squared minus 2 multiplied by 2x multiplied by 1 plus 1 squared is equal to 13. So ab squared is equal to a squared multiplied by b squared. So we have 2 squared x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 13. So we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 13. So if we bring this to this side, we have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 minus 13 is equal to 0. Now we have 4x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now divide both sides by 4. Remember that we are looking for x squared. Okay, so it's going to give us x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. So making x squared the subject of the formula is going to be equal to minus we cross to become plus, minus we cross to become plus. So it means that oh, 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 minus 12 divided by 4 will give us minus 3. So this we cross to become plus 3. And this is the most important equation in this particular um, problem that we are solving, okay? Now, if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click that subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Yes. We upload our videos as often as we can. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Now, give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video don't just watch and pass like comment and share so that the algorithm will push this to students yes that really need them for their exams okay thank you very much all right now we continue like i said the equation we just formed is the most important equation so we have that our x squared is equal to x plus three now remember what i said so we are going to square again. Square both sides. The intention is to get x to the power of 4. Okay? So square both sides. We have x squared squared is equal to x plus 3 squared. Now, x to the power of 4 is equal to, remember that we are looking for x to the power of 7, is equal to, this will be x squared plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 3 using our identity plus 3 squared. So we have x to the power of 4 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, the logic here is anywhere, anywhere you see x squared, you replace it with x plus 3. Okay? Anywhere you see x squared, replace it with x plus 3. So we are going to write this as x to the power of 4 is equal to x plus 3 for x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we solve x to the power of 4 is equal to x plus 6x is 7x. 3 plus 9 is plus 12. Okay. Now we are going to square again because there is no way we are going to get to 7 without that 8. We need it. So we need to square again to get x to the power of 8. Then we see what we can do to get x to the power of 7. All right? Now, um, x to the power of 4 all squared is equal to 7x plus 12 all squared. So we have x to the power of 8 is equal to 7x squared plus 2 multiplied by 7x multiplied by 12 plus 12 squared. 
okay so i'm going to write x squared is equal to because i want to claim this x plus three somewhere all right so now we have x to the power of eight is equal to now seven squared is 49 so we have 49 x squared plus two times 12 is 24 24 times 7 7 times 4 is 28 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16 so we have 168 x plus 12 squared is 144 okay so we have x to the power of 8 is equal to 49 bracket anywhere we see x squared we replace them with x plus 3 plus 168 plus 144 so x to the power of 8 is equal to 49 times x is 49 x plus 49 times 3 is 3 times 9 27 3 times 4 12 14 so we have 147 plus 1688x plus 144 so we have x to the power of 8 is equal to 49x plus 168x we give us okay let's solve it like this so our answer we end with x 9 plus 8 is 17 Write 7 carry 1. 4 plus 6 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Then we add 1. So plus, now this plus this, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry 1. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is what we have. But Remember that we are not looking for the value of x to the power of 8. Rather, we are asked to find x to the power of 7. So this is where we are going to twist this a bit. Now, how do we get that? Remember, using the law of exponents, that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. Okay? So if I want to get eight, if I want to get seven, seven is equal to eight minus seven. So eight minus one, sorry. So I will have x to the power of eight minus one is equal to two one seven x plus two nine one. Now using this law, we can express this as what x to the power of eight divided by x, right? Because minus 1 turns out to be minus, to be what? X to the power of 1. I don't know how to explain. Now look at what I want to do. So having done this, it means we have introduced something to this particular mathematics. Because the question is X to the power of 8 and not X to the power of 8 minus 1. So if we introduce minus 1 here, it's the same thing as dividing this by what? Now this is what we are going to have. X to the power of 8 divided by X x to the power of 1 that is when we are going to have x to the power of 8 minus 1 to give us x to the power of 7 i don't know if you understand so that simply means we are going to also divide this side by x okay so this will be equal to 217x plus 291 divided by x i also hope i didn't confuse you so this will now give us x to the power of 8 minus 1 just like I explained, okay, is equal to 217x divided by x plus 291 divided by x. So we have x to the power of 7 is equal to x to remove x and we have 217 plus 291 multiplied by 1. So we have x to the power of 7 permits me to clean this so i'll have enough space to solve my whatever okay all right now this is same thing as x to the power of 7 is equal to 217 plus 291 
multiplied by 2 over root 13 plus 1. Now let's rationalize, okay? So we multiply by root 13 minus 1 over root 13 minus 1. So we have x to the power of 7 is equal to 217 plus 291 multiplied by 2 root 13 minus 1. Okay, divided by root 13 squared minus 1 squared. Yes, because remember that A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. So this multiplied by this is equal to root 13 squared minus 1 squared. So if we solve further, we will have that x to the power of 7 is equal to 217 plus, now let's express 291 as 3 times 97, okay? So we have 3 multiplied by 97, then multiplied by 2 root 13 minus 1, then divided by, this we, minus, this, this we divide this and we have 13 minus 1, okay? All right. Now, we have x to the power of 7 is equal to, I want to be faster because the video is getting too long. <laughs> it's equal to 217 plus 3 times 2 is 6. So, you have 6 multiplied by 97 root 13 minus 1 divided by 12. Okay, so we have x to the power of 7 is 217 plus, now 6 we divide this to give us 2. So we have 97 root 13 minus 1, okay, divided by 2. Sorry. We have x to the power of 7 is equal to 217 plus, let's open this bracket, 97 root 13 minus 97 times 1 is still 97, divided by 2, okay? Now, this is over 1. Let's find their LCM. Their LCM is 2. When 1 divides 2 is 2, 2 times this will give us 4, 3, 4, right? Yeah. Plus, this divides itself. 1, 1 times this is 97 root 13 minus 97. Okay. So, this is root 13. Okay. Now, we solve x to the power of 7 is equal to 437 minus 97. 14 minus 7 will give us 7. 12 minus 9 will give us 3. And we are left with 3, right? So it's going to be 337 plus 97 root 13, everything divided by 2. So.